Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Aurélien, the owner of Lotus Sound Audio. So today we are going to answer the most asked question, which is how to install your goddamn plugins. I know a lot of people have some issues installing plugins. You are going to see it's super really easy. Today we are going to make this video on uh, Windows Exploitation OS, and we are going to make a different video for Mac OS. So first thing first, you have to get on the Lotus Sound Audio Patron page and here you can find all our plugins. Just a quick remembering, all the plugins are free. You can download it without any limits and we want to keep that like this. We want to keep the plugin free for everybody. If you can afford it, you can go on the shop and you can help us by buying a bundles. It doesn't change a thing, okay? It just helps us a little bit or you can get directly on our PayPal um, link directly and give us whatever you want. It really help. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So today I'm going to show you how to download this Lotus Sound Audio 1173. It's a high-end EQs, three bands with a super amazing and soft um, preamp. Uh, modeled on a, an amazing uh, analog device. I'll let you uh, guess which one. Uh, here you have the link for Mac and you have the link for Windows. So as I said, we are for Windows. So you just click on the Windows and you will see it download the plugins. As now here you can see on my desk, I have the plugins. You just open it and you just get the plugins over here. So, okay, this one, I don't care. And here you have the plugins. So one thing it's important, it just, just keep the files like this. Okay, don't touch it. You can get inside, there's no problems, okay? But if you wanna install it super quick and super easy, just get the plugins like that, okay? Okay, so right now you have here the plugins and it's super easy. You get on your disk, okay? Your main OS disk generally is the C disk. And in your disk, you get on the program file, not the program 86. Please don't get on this one. You get on the program file. Over here you get and you get on the common file. It's super easy. Common files. And here you will see all the plugins you have on your system. It's a BST3, okay? It's the very last um, version. So you get on VST3. And here you will see we have different plugins. And over here, just like that, you get the plugins and you put it on this file. That's all, that's super easy, nothing else. You see here, the plugins is added to my all plugins collection. And normally here, that's all. It's the only thing I have to do. Okay, and we are now on a Cubase session. It's work exactly the same for all the dough, okay? If you are on Reaper or whatever for Windows, it's the very same. And if here I get to my plugins collection, okay, you see, I just tap the LS1173, it's here and you get over there and it's open. Just if you see here a few things, the plugins, super cool, you can get your High hand EQs, a tiny, super cool preamp, okay, on, off. And you have here a different bunch of presets. If you want, you can make, create some new preset and you just save it here, save as your own preset. And if your preset is good, don't hesitate to send it to us uh, because uh, sometimes we make some new update and we like to add some fans preset so don't hesitate to do that if you think your preset is super cool